Okay, so we've got uh, some more progress done on the playset. We're starting the fort portion. We're actually almost done with the fort portion of the playset. We put the slide together, put the ladder together, put the swing set together. Basically, it's just uh, applying some more boards on the fort section, installing the roof, and then piecing the big stuff together. Um, originally, we were going to put the place set back here, but then we decided to put it in the shade over here um, just by the instructions of the uh, place set. It said to keep the slide facing north, which we can't do because north is this way and the house is back there. And uh, we want to be able to see what's going on facing the house, so we're uh, putting it in the shade. And by the way, I did that intentionally. This gap here, they're supposed to be spaced out evenly, but I left him a little peephole because boys will be boys. <laughs> Just kidding. He uh, likes to look through cracks and stuff, so I got him one down here as well. Um, that is by my intention. So far, everything's been going together fairly smoothly. There's a couple of misprints in the manual where they're telling you to get a certain uh, bolt and it's missing a letter or number. Um, but it's pretty easy to figure out once you do a process of elimination. As far as the assembly is concerned, um, the boards themselves are a little warped. So even if you have a square, uh, it's not going to be perfectly square. And the issue with it not being perfectly square is that once you get to this point here, at least for me, this bolt is actually supposed to be over. I had to drill a new hole uh, to make sure that it all lined up, otherwise the holes weren't lining up. And that's just because of the way that the wood was warped. Um, so I couldn't get everything square, but it's doing okay. It is a little wobbly, um, and that could just be because my ground is not 100% level, because we're not gonna grade the ground or anything. And um, so, yeah, so far it's going, going together well. Um, I'm gonna work on it some more. Hopefully the weather holds out. We've had rain the past few days, so it's been slow going. And of course the kiddo is sick again, or still sick, I'm not sure what I said in the last video. So that's been making it a little bit more difficult. But we're, uh, we're moving on. All right. Okay, so this is the follow-up. Playground is built. It is not anchored yet. But uh, once we get it anchored, it should be, <laughs> there it goes, should be good to go. Um, we've had some rain the past couple of days, so everything's soaking wet. Mosquitoes are out like crazy. Uh, only a couple of issues with alignment, a couple of issues with the holes. But other than that, it's been uh, fairly easy. I built this thing almost entirely by myself. Uh, the, even assembly here was completely by myself as far as putting the uprights and the structure together here. It is... Um, just be careful, it's wet. It is uh, fairly sturdy without the anchors, but I would definitely put anchors in. Nice little thing. Oh, this is the one thing. This tarp here was not the right tarp for this kit. So, um, it's supposed to actually wrap around on both sides, and it does not. And it's also supposed to have a stripe down the center, which it does not. But I'm not going to sit there and hassle with the company over a tarp. So we just mounted it best we could. And it stays. I'm going to tidy it up. I'm going to get some more screws on the side here. Because it only comes with nine screws to, to strap this thing in. But uh, other than that, it's uh, it's been pretty good. So we're going to give it a couple months and see how it holds up. Alright, on to the next.